guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And today's video, unfortunately, is not going to be a very happy one. Um, it's a video that I've been kind of like half planning to make for a while, but I was waiting for a better outcome to make the video and then I ended up not having a better outcome. So before I get into making this video kind of sad, I wanted to get some happy things out first. Let's start off on a happy note. So, I'm filming this today, which means I'll probably put it out tomorrow, and tomorrow is my birthday. So when you're watching this, it's actually my birthday. So it would mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button because I am really trying to hit 500, no, 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. I like to give myself goals each year. Um, so far, I mean last year, my goal was a thousand by the end of the year and I hit it by summer so that was really awesome. My goal this year is 20,000 followers on Instagram and 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube by the end of the year. So my birthday wish is that you guys hit that subscribe button because according to the analytics a lot of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button that'd be like such a great birthday present and I'd really appreciate it. Um, Okay, next up, um, very, ooh, the mail's here. Okay, next up, very exciting, I am getting a new animal tomorrow. I'm picking her up. Technically, I went and saw her last week and paid for her and made all the final decisions, but I didn't have an enclosure for her yet, so the people that have her, they live very close to me, so they were very kind as to hold on to her for a week to give me time to get an enclosure for her. So I will be picking her up tomorrow, so happy birthday to me. Um, this will be my final reptile while I am living here because this one is a big commitment um, takes up a lot of space so it will be my last reptile while I'm living here um, I have gotten a couple others that haven't been announced here on YouTube they have been announced on Instagram though so if you follow me on Instagram you'll know the new additions I did get I think there's only two species I have that have not been announced here on YouTube. Um, I did get my dream snake, so that was very, very exciting. And I got um, some more education animals. Um, and by some more, and which kind of sounds like multiple. Um, it's one species, but there's two of them. So I won't go into detail of that here in this video because that's not what this is about. But if you do want to stay up to date, Instagram usually hears about things first. So I suggest following me on Instagram. I'm gonna stay up to date with everything because like I said, that's usually where I post things first before coming to YouTube. Although, the animal I'm picking up tomorrow will be on YouTube first, I think. So you're gonna want to uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see what she is. She's the sweetest, cutest. I am so excited to go get her. As you can see, my background looks a little different. I am in the process of moving things around, you guys know. If you follow me on Instagram, I don't know if I've talked about it here, but I am building some new enclosures, and so things are moving around in here, playing Tetris. So if you want to see a room tour soon, with I have so many upgrades going on right now, and so many animal switching bioactive, and I want to get all those upgrades done before that room tour. So I'm hoping that's all going to be done very soon. So if you want to see all those upgrades, bioactives, new enclosures, and a full room tour, again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If I start to like really sweat, I apologize. Our AC is broken as of yesterday, so it is very warm in here. Okay, now that I've said all the happy stuff, it's time to get serious and actually talk about what today's video is about. So, a lot of you know, I had a chameleon, a veiled chameleon named Eugene. I said had because unfortunately Eugene has passed away. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you've been able to follow our story, follow what's been going on with Eugene, and you would have known when he passed away. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to talk about it here on YouTube. I wanted to make a video all about our experience with Eugene, but I was waiting for him to get better. So I could be like, this is what happened, and this is how what we did, and now he's better. Unfortunately, he never got better. So um, I had to wait to make this video because burying him was very hard. It was the hardest animal I've ever had to bury. Um, many of you know if you've been here a while, a veiled chameleon was my first dream reptile. Well, not a veiled chameleon, but a chameleon in general. Um, because, like everyone else that wants a chameleon, Tangled is my favorite movie. I love Pascal. It's always my dream to have a chameleon and name it Pascal. 
However, unlike most people that go out and get chameleon and name it Pascal, I knew that they were an advanced species and I waited a decade to get a chameleon. I waited 10 years to get a chameleon. Um, so Eugene did not disappoint. I loved every minute of owning him. Picking him up was the happiest day of my life. So bearing him was very hard so I had to wait to make this video because I was in a very, <laughs> I was in very rough shape. Okay, so what happened to Eugene? So Eugene lost function of his tongue. And if you guys know about chameleons, you know that tongue is very, very important. They can extend their tongue, their tongue is sticky, and that's how they eat and catch their food. Without being able to use their tongue, it is very difficult for them to eat. So I noticed this started back in, I think late October or early November. I think it was like late October it was when I caught it. Um, Cause I was home one day, it was my day off from work and I noticed that he was trying to eat his food and his tongue wasn't shooting out, it was coming out just past his mouth. And so he wasn't able to get his food. And I was like, that's very concerning. So I tried to tongue feed a hornworm because he cannot resist hornworms and his tongue just came out just past his mouth and that was it. And so I brought him right to the vet. I brought him to the zoo's vet because I did work at, I was at the zoo at the time. Um, so I brought him to our zoo's vet and unfortunately we didn't get very much out of that particular vet visit. Um, she gave me antibiotics for him which I found out afterwards after talking to people in chameleon groups on Facebook that that's really not good for them, it's not good for their kidneys. If there's not a reason to be treating with antibiotics they should not be treated, sorry, they should not be treated with antibiotics. Um, they are a very fragile species, they stress very easily, and she basically just gave me antibiotics in case there was like a what if reason that his tongue wasn't working that could be fixed by antibiotics. Um, she also gave him, I think she gave him a vitamin injection or a calcium injection, I don't remember which because this was a while ago. Um, but basically she didn't do any testing, she didn't want to do any testing because he was stressed he was also shedding that day, and or maybe it was the other one. Whatever, he was stressed, he was very unhappy, um, and with the chameleons being so easily prone to stress and very fragile, she didn't want to do any testing. Uh, so we decided to do the antibiotics for a while, and then reevaluate and bring him back in. Love that vet to death. She's very nice. Um, she was great at the zoo, very nice to the staff all the time. I don't feel that reptiles are her strong suit though. Now chameleons are not a strong suit for most exotic vets anyway, um, but reptiles in general I felt like were not really her strong suit and I ended up not going back to her. Instead I went an hour away to one of the most recommended vets for reptiles in New York, or maybe not in New York but like in the western middle upper m most of New York. This was the vet that was most recommended to me when I posted in Facebook group saying which vet do you come which vet do you go to because where I was located for the zoo I was kind of in the middle of the state so I could pretty much go anywhere and be somewhere like in a city with good vets within an hour or two so I was very lucky. Um, so the vet that everyone recommended was just an hour away so I brought him there um, because you know after a week of antibiotics there was really no difference and so I brought him to that vet instead. Um, this vet was very very good. Again we didn't really get too much, like we didn't leave with a solution. We talked, he was very straightforward and honest which I appreciated and he flat out said chameleons are not something a lot of reptile vets or vets in general are experienced with. Uh, there's not a lot of knowledge on chameleon medicine because they're such a fragile species and so a lot of vets struggle with treating chameleons. Um, he said that he has seen a lot of vets over the course of his time that lose tongue function. He said sometimes it comes back, other times it doesn't, and they just have to be hand fed the rest of their life. Um, so I was hoping since he could, still, he could clearly still move it, he just couldn't shoot it, that we caught it early and we're, we'd be able to fix it. Um, 
this vet, he made some suggestions. We talked about my care and his setup and he was able to kind of um, make some suggestions that might help. Um, so it was going into winter, so obviously it was drier, so he suggested, you know, instead of spraying twice a day, spray more, spray throughout the day, spray longer, get his humidity up even higher. Um, what else do you recommend? Um, the ultimate thing that I think really worked was getting new multivitamins. So one of the things that can cause loss of tongue in or tongue function in a chameleon is vitamin deficiency. I forget which one. I think it's vitamin D. Although reading into it, there was like several different vitamins that could cause it. Um, I think dehydration might have been a cause. Like there were so many different causes for loss of tongue function that it would be hard to determine what was really the problem. Um, so he did tell me that multivitamins, and this is really important for everyone to know, I think. Um, so if you've made it this far, this is good for you to know if you keep reptiles. Um, multivitamins for reptiles go bad after three months. Um, they don't say that on the bottle. I checked my expiration date before going to that vet and I was like, oh, I still have like almost a year before this expires. And then he asked me how long I've had my multivitamins for and I told him, honestly, I don't remember when I bought them. It was so long ago. And he said, that might be your problem. He said vitamins. A, D, E, and K, I think were the four. A, D, E, and K. I think um, after three months, they're basically useless. They don't really work as well. So he said after three months, always throw away your vitamins and get new ones. So every three months now, I throw away my multivitamins and my calcium, and I get all new supplements. So I don't buy the big jugs, I buy the little things, because I always end up having some that I have to throw away. So he made that suggestion. Um, I did have... Like just recently replaced his UVB so he did have a very good UVB bulb so that wasn't a problem um, but other than his tongue lack of tongue function that that said Eugene looked very healthy he looked really good obviously he needed to put a, l a little more weight on because without being able to eat on his own he was losing weight um, but other than that he looked totally healthy again that vet didn't want to do testing because he didn't want to stress out Eugene um, he said you know anything that we'd be testing for that we'd be looking for could be fixed with the new vitamins, bumping up its humidity. Um, oh, the other thing he mentioned was treating for parasites. So I do, or I can treat for that at home on my own. Um, he told me what to buy, how to do it, yada yada. Um, I did like that he tried to save me money. He wasn't going to go rip off his um, customers or his visitors, whatever, his patients. There we go. Um, he didn't want to rip them off. So he told me, he's like, I could charge you all this money for all these tests or I could tell you just go buy new multivitamins. I could charge you all this money to treat him for parasites or I could just tell you to go buy this and do it yourself. So I did really appreciate that because like I said, I was, not like I said, but like I said before, I was living on a zoo salary so I was very limited in my budget. Um... So I did treat him for parasites, but that said he likes to treat um, chameleons twice a year for parasites. So did that. Um, I was feeding him Reptiboost. If you don't have Reptiboost on hand, I recommend having on hand. Eventually I'm going to do a what's in my reptile first aid box, and in that I do have Reptiboost. So it's like a liquid food, um, so good to have on hand. So he was doing that. I was still tongue feeding him his bugs. Um, Hornworms, superworms, crickets, dubia roaches, whatever I had to give him. Um, so then I moved home. I moved back here to my parents' house. And he was starting to get a little better. His tongue was starting to get sticky again. It was coming out a little further. I was like, sweet, we're, we're moving in the right direction. Next thing I know, it was like he had no tongue. There wasn't even a tongue partially sticking out. He would open his mouth to hiss. And I'd look, you couldn't even see a tongue. It was just like gone. And, um, so, talking to the vet, of course I'm here now, so I'm hours and hours away from that vet now. And he, I mean, he told me, he's like, a lot of chameleons, when they lose tongue function, they completely lose it and it doesn't come back. So, I kind of expected it. I was hoping we'd beat it, but we didn't. So, every day, I was having to tongue feed him and hand feed him, give him rough to boost, and he hates being tongue fed. He's always hated it, unless it's a hornworm, he 
hates it. So I wasn't able to get too many bugs into his system, but I was doing the Recto Boost every day. Unfortunately, he just continued to lose weight and not pull through. Um, so we went on vacation. It wasn't really vacation. We went to meet up with my family to celebrate my grandparents' 50th anniversary two weeks ago. And the second day, or first full day being there, we got a text from my pet sitter saying that when he came in in the morning to check on the animals and feed everybody, um, Eugene had passed away. So I am thankful that he at least passed away during the night. I'm hoping that, you know, he went peacefully in his sleep. That's what I'm going to tell myself happened because it happened during the night. And I'm just glad that his suffering is over because the last couple of weeks he has been, you can tell he's been getting a lot weaker. He's not holding on as well. He's sleeping more during the day. And that was, sleeping more during the day was happening in the last couple of days. Um, so when I came back from vacation, I was going to consider um, euthanasia, talk to a couple more vets. But unfortunately, he didn't make it that long. Um, but I'm glad that he naturally went and hopefully during his sleep in the middle of the night. So that's what happened with Eugene. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news um, about that. I can't say, you know, he started losing tongue function and we fixed it and this is how because unfortunately we didn't. It started looking like it was going to improve, it was getting better, and then just like that, nothing. So that's my update for you guys. Unfortunately, Eugene is no longer with us. Next month is August and that's when I do my Meet All My Pets video. I do it once a year just to give like an update to all my subscribers on who I've got. And I'm very excited to announce next month that we didn't lose anybody this year. Everyone that was in my video last year was still here. But unfortunately with Eugene gone, that does give us one death tally. But um, other than that, everyone is here, everyone is healthy and doing well. And next month will be a Meet All My Pets video so you can check up on everyone and see who was new from this past year. So as always, thank you guys for joining me. I'm sorry this video wasn't a really happy one, um, but you know, gotta keep you guys updated. A lot of people like Eugene. Um, you know, he came a long way when I got him. He hadn't been handled in years. He was angry and mad at the world. And I worked with him until, you know, he was better with handling. I could handle him. And uh, he was just, he was a wonderful, beautiful little boy. And I miss him dearly.